Hi guys, this is my fiance Beatrice, and we're going to be doing a Q&A for Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, by the way. We should do a Coco Power Rangers. <laughs> okay, so first I'm just gonna like talk about how we met. So we met at a fast food restaurant. I know, classic love story, very romantic. She was a shift leader at the time. Then when we started talking, she became a manager, which I strongly believe is because of me. And she agrees with it. Do I? You're welcome. So basically, I had had a crush on her on and off for like a year. What did you say? Crush. Yes. For like a year um, since I started working there. And for the longest time, every time like we talked, I would be like, oh, she wants me so bad. She likes me. And like now I've realized that she, re I was just some random chick at work. But then we got to hang out a bit. And when we did, we like started to see each other more. And eventually I was like, I kind of like you. And she was like, mm, I don't really like you that much. Let's just talk. And it took about a month. And then we started dating. And then two-ish months in, we moved in, which is very queer. Um, this is our house. And then like six, seven months in, got engaged. Mm -hmm. And now we're getting married in June, July. Five months. Oh yeah, the wedding's in July. That's basically our little story together. Do you have anything to add? No, that sounds about it. That was good, huh? That was good. So now I'm going to be like reading questions from the Valentine's q and gay from my Patreon. Denise Caldera wants to know what you think of my dad. Huh. Cody. Uh, Cody's an interesting character. He is uh, energetic and fun. Um... He's a, he's a fun guy, I just, sometimes when he says certain things, I just don't like it. You don't like the way he talks to me? Yeah, that's exactly it. I don't like the way that he talks to you at all, so. But he's super fun. I really like Cody, he's, he's just, I don't think that he knows how to respectfully talk to some of his family members, and one in particular I care too much for to have somebody talk in mean manners. Okay, MN says, did you know about the show before you started dating? How do you feel about it? I did definitely know about the show before we started dating. I used She's to a watch. major fan. She's obsessed with me. The second she met me, she was like, oh my God, I know who you're from. And that's the only reason we're together. Um, No, I knew about it in middle school. Gwendolyn, I don't know what we were talking about, but Gwendolyn just started saying something about her family because we were talking about how we're both were raised Mormon. I was like, oh, that's funny. Do you watch Sister Wives or is that hit too close to home? And she was like, that's my family. And I was like, what? What are you talking about? And she was like, that's literally my family. And I just was like, no. And then she believed me. <laughs> okay. What do you like? What do we like to do together? Stargaze. Yes, our first date was stargazing. Mm -hmm. That was a lot of fun. We also like to watch shows together and explore. We like to explore. We mm -hmm. want to start like a vlog where we go places and just like videotape it and like give our reviews. Yeah, we, really like it we just... went on a trip our first like month together. Mm -hmm. It was we went super to fun. Disneyland. Broke trip. It was very broke trip. Mm -hmm. Sleeping in the car and such. Mm -hmm. And a very like run down hotel but it was like a couple blocks away from Disneyland so, so we could walk we could walk to Disneyland no need to uber mm -hmm. it was a really nice trip very convenient too like pride was happening at the same time which has got to be fate like our first trip together and pride is happening yeah yeah and we went there too it was awesome and somebody tripped me and I got really scraped up <laughs> yeah <laughs> laughing at my pain Kaylin Hyatt says, how does she feel about the differences in the way you guys were raised? What is her childhood experience? Wait, what was the question? What's... Sorry, ADHD. I feel like the whole multiple moms thing is definitely very different. And I had a small family, just me and my sister and then my mom and my dad. My mom got converted when she was 18. And so I was born a Mormon and I didn't leave the church until I was 18, 19, until I went to college. And I moved here when I was five. All my family's Brazilian. All of us were living in Brazil. My mom got married to my stepdad and we moved here. He was also Mormon. But yeah, that's how that happened. Welcome to the United States. Oh, thank you. A little a little late on that, but thank You're you. welcome so much. Erin says, is her immediate family of origin supportive of y'all? Uh, yeah. Yeah, 
they're super supportive now. When I was younger, I was really worried about it, but they all love Gwendolyn. Mm -hmm. The first time we met, we all hugged. Mm -hmm. And her sister Vanessa is great, and her mom and I get along. Mm -hmm. Okay, Erin asks, what did she envision her adult years like as a child, as opposed to what it is currently? Ah, uh, good question. When I was a kid, I was very Mormon as well. I definitely didn't picture Gwendolyn. I think I just pictured basic Mormon life of getting married in the temple, having kids. We still want kids, but, but the a temple's, little different. The temple's not gonna happen. Yeah. Also, she probably expected a man. What? <laughs> Surprise! Were you ever overwhelmed by how many siblings I have? Yes. I, uh, yeah. I'm okay with crowds, but the fact that, like, it's family and I have to, like, get used to being comfortable around them is the problem. It's definitely harder to get close to everyone because there is so many of them. And I'm used to family being very close. And, like, my memory's not great, so memorizing all their names and stuff is... She's really good at it, though. It's hard. It's really it's impressive very difficult. the way she does it. She's a lot better than you would expect somebody to be with this, especially as somebody coming from a small family, though. I like her family a lot. Corey Moore wants to know if Beatrice is going to Spain with me. She is. Yes. Yes. We're going to get me a student visa. We're going to get her family visa because we're married by then. And she'll be able to come with Spain, to Spain with me and we'll f film lots of vlogs there too, which will be awesome. Yeah, we're planning to travel a lot. It'll be really nice. I might force her to do my math homework too because she's very good at math. My Spanish math homework. Dos. Dos. <laughs> Dos. <laughs> Um, Suzanne says, if you could peek into the future, how do you imagine your life together in 30 years? Where would you want to live? What do you hope you'll be doing? Farm. We want a farm and we want two biological kids and then like an amount of adopted kids. Our kids are probably going to be like having kids. <gasps> grandkids. So in 30 years, we're going to be probably living on a farm with grandkids and some animals yes and giving our grandkids little hay rides with cows amazing a couple questions just for bia from suzanne when did you come out when my family asked if i wanted to go to a family camping trip and i was like yeah sure why not can i bring my girlfriend yeah and that was the first time i came out they're like yeah sure why not so they took it really well i thought they were going to take it terribly but they took it really well what is your idea of ideal Valentine's Day with me? Um, Gwendolyn doesn't like to eat out. Uh, she doesn't like a lot of like crazy stuff. She's very simple. So, in like romance, the term is autistic. No, in romance, you like you like to be simple. You'd rather just have like a meal that I make at home where we can just like cuddle. Mm -hmm. So that's probably, I'll probably try to incorporate some sort of like Valentine's day -y things to make it nice. But yeah, I don't, she doesn't really want any gifts. She doesn't really want to eat out. She, yeah. It's like spending time together. Yeah. So I think we'll just make a meal together and maybe watch a movie or something. Mm -hmm. Wait, maybe we'll go watched. stargazing. Yes. Okay. Stargazing sounds good to me. Okay, let's do some rapid fire. Beach or the mountains? Uh, ooh. Rapid fire. Beach. Mountains. Fishing or swimming? Fishing. I knew you'd say that, swimming. Fitness freak or loving a good lazy day? Lazy day. Mm -hmm. Morning or night person? Or night. night. Cool. Yeah, I'm trying to become a morning person. It's not working. That's a little about us, our relationship, uh, Yeah, how we came to be. How we're doing so far. Yeah, and hopefully we'll do more of these as time progresses and more vlogs and day in the life situations. Very excited for the wedding. Mm -hmm. Very excited for the it's wedding. coming soon though. We'll include that. We've got like five months left mm -hmm. until we're getting married. If you're interested in seeing more vlogs, day in the life, if you want to see the wedding too, we will be posting about that after it's done. And thank you for watching this with us. Thank you for being here. Uh, please consider subscribing if you would like this. Yeah, like subscribe. And subscribe. <laughs> and like, and like, comment. If you have like any more questions you want to ask about us, we'll let you know. And yeah, have a good rest of your day. Thanks for watching.